Hey there, I'm Mark from Cape Town Thing here. Um, just an added um, a tutorial uh, vlog um, as part of uh, part of this series. Um, came in from a very good uh, question from um, my colleague George the Groove um, around when a license has been taken out. Um, can that be used just for one track? Can once you've got that license, if you wanted to do a um, you know, remix or put completely different artists on it in, in you know, three or four years time, for example. So yeah, it was a really good question. We went away and, and, and did research. Um, from our uh, readings, uh, the key determinant actually in the beat licensing contracts is around whether a music video was ever actually made for, uh, for that release. Um, our interpretation, if, if it was just an audio release, it would be absolutely fine doing another audio release because you're uncapped on streams, radio play, um, all other things on that beat license. But in most beat licensing agreements, it's the ability to use that beat on one music video um, that, that, that is key. So yeah, I guess the first song could have had a really good audio release, could have done a music video. Um, I guess there's nothing stopping then um, another artist that you're work you know, that you're working with or making a track with um, doing an audio release in future. But for me, there wouldn't be any point because you know, if that became a hit, you'd want a music video and you wouldn't be able to put the music video on it. So um, yeah, hopefully that's a, a a good explanation around how many different times you can um, use a use a beat or put different uh, interpretations of that song on on that beat license.